My name is Letty and I'm a chef and I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful vegetable quiches. It honestly is just a few easy steps. See you in a second. All right, guys, I think I have everything here I need right now. I am cheating and I have two pre-made pie crusts that are thawed. I have a bag of spinach. I have some white wine. I have a pound and a half of Jarlsberg cheese. And if anything is imperative in this restaurant, I would say it's Jarlsberg cheese. Yes, you can sub it with Swiss, won't be the same. I have a half a pound of super sharp New York cheddar. I have a heaping teaspoon of sugar. I have four mushrooms, seven eggs, a stick of butter, a couple leaves of basil. I have a couple handfuls of broccoli, little handful of cauliflower because I had it in my vegetable bin, an onion. I'm going to be using a cup of milk and a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. You can do any variation of milk you would like. <clears throat> um, I will be using an electric mixer and also I just roasted some fresh garlic that I'll be using, but you can use either fresh garlic or the squeeze in a tube garlic. Um, and if you don't have any, you can use garlic powder. I'll probably use a little bit of that in my eggs as well. So there, oh, poultry seasoning. Definitely a must. Poultry seasoning. Fresh black pepper, salt, and I will use this is optional. I will use a little bit of chicken bouillon to flavor my vegetables in the wine and butter. All right, see you in a second. All right, guys, I've put you up really high so you can see what I'm doing here. I've got this heated up on seven. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to drop my butter in there and I'm going to cut my onion. And you can see that, yes you can. It is Christmas Eve and quiches are, ugh, I love quiche, like probably one of my favorite foods. I'll never forget the first time I saw it on a menu. It was at a restaurant that used to be around here called Magic Pan. And I asked it, the waiter, what's a quickie? Yeah. I'll never forget that. Totally embarrassed, especially since I had foodie parents who obviously hadn't taught me how to spell quiche. Mind you, I think I was in like fourth grade. I still remember it though. Um, I always make sure that I don't cut anything bigger than I want to bite. So, definitely doing my onions a little bit small here, and I'm putting them in my butter, and then I'm going to take some of that roasted garlic. I'm just going to take a couple of them out. It's going to be messy, but it's worth it. Now, if you're using fresh garlic, only use like two to three cloves. Once you roast garlic, it becomes extremely mild and you can use a lot more. It's a completely different flavor once it's roasted. It's absolutely delectable. And how you roast it is you just put a little bit of salt. I put a pinch of sugar 
in on top of your cleaned garlic cloves. Douse it with olive oil. Put it in the toaster oven for a half hour at 350. And before you know it, you will have roasted garlic. And we use it on everything. We'll use it, my husband uses it to marinate his filet tomorrow. I'll use it in here. I will use them in my whipped mashed potatoes tomorrow. So yeah, we love garlic. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have the butter and the onion. I'm gonna quick cut this basil and just my style julienne, which I'm sure Gordon Ramsay would have a party with, but in all honesty, it's just as good. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick my basil in there. And then I'm gonna start cutting my vegetables. I have broccoli here, which like I said, I don't want anything bigger than what I would bite. But in all honesty, I got a big mouth. So I don't do them that small. I might have my fire a bit high. I had a little bit of cauliflower in there left over, so I'm gonna throw this in. And you guys, that's the thing about egg pie is what it really is. You can put anything you want into this quiche. Any vegetables you love, meats, Obviously, there's quiche Lorraine, which is super famous with the pork, uh, the um, ham or bacon, and the Swiss cheese. I've got to tell you, though, I have probably made, I don't want to say a thousand, but from having my restaurant and my quiche, although I did my quiche like four inches deep at my restaurant in like a um, fluted, they were beautiful. Anyways, um, what was my point there? I really did have one. When you do your quiche, da 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 da, look at about the, uh, I don't know, but I don't feel like stopping this and getting collecting my thoughts i just want to keep cooking so you want to take your vegetables whatever vegetables you like and basically you're going to need about three cups of vegetables now i don't count the spinach because spinach literally wilts down to nothing if you have any experience with cooking spinach you know that when it comes to volume, it doesn't have much. All right, I'm gonna save those little stems. All right, I've got my broccoli in. And right now, I'm gonna take my wine. I have a bottle of wine, but I still feel like I have some in this box. And I'm going to deglaze this with about, I don't even think that was a quarter of a cup. Maybe. Maybe. I, actually, that was more like an eighth of a cup. you got to get that wine taste in a quiche, though. You have to. This is history. So, I am going to get a wine opener and I'm going to put a little bit more wine in there. Honestly, that's probably okay, but I'm going to say a good third of a cup of white wine. Just a drop more. And we'll let that 
saturate our onions and just put that incredibly rich flavor into our vegetables. Speaking of our vegetables, I'm going, well, before I put that on, I'm going to put about a teaspoon of poultry seasoning on here. That was a half, and that's another half a teaspoon. And then I'm going to do some fresh black pepper. I love this automatic blender. It's for lazy people. And I'm going to take, you can just use a little more salt, but I'm going to take about two teaspoons, which would be two, two bullion cubes of chicken bullion, and I'm going to put it right in those veggies. I'm going to give this a stir, and I'm going to let that the wine, the alcohol from the wine cook off. And now, as it's starting to simmer down, and it's all wet, I'm going to dump my bag of spinach on top. And guys, this looks like a lot, but just give it a minute. Can you see that? It looks like a lot of spinach, but trust me, it will be down in no time. Now is when I'm going to take my good teaspoon of sugar and put it all over my spinach. And then I'm going to take some regular salt and put it on there. And I'm actually going to put a little bit more black pepper. I like a lot of black pepper with my eggs. And then I'm going to get the lid. And I'm actually going to turn this down to three. And now I'm going to uh, fill my pie crust with cheese. I'm going to cut that cheese first and I'll be right back. All right guys, I have cut my Jarlsberg cheese into little dicey pieces and I have filled the bottom of my pie crust. I suggest you use one of these because the quiche is going to bubble over no matter what inside your oven. If not, line the bottom with tin foil. Now, the half a pound of very sharp cheddar, I diced smaller, if you can see. And I am going to put this on top. It's all about the cheese, guys. Now, let's look at as soon as my spinach wilted, I turned it off. So I can give that a stir and it's fine if it cools down. And do you see that spinach turned into nothing? And actually taste one of your vegetables and see if it needs salt or pepper or whatever you think that it needs because you want this to be seasoned well mm. of course i think it's seasoned perfect but you do it to your taste now i don't want you to hear me because it's going to be too loud but I've put seven eggs in a big bowl and I am going to whip them very well. Oh, with one cup of whole milk and a half a cup of whipping cream. 
I'll be right back with these eggs and the milk and whipping cream all whipped up. Hey guys, I wanna show you that I put just a quarter teaspoon of the poultry seasoning again, and I put a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to dust the top with some onion powder, and then I'm gonna dust it with some garlic powder. And I put some more black cracked pepper. I'm gonna whip this one more time, and I'll be back. I'm hoping oh, you can yes. see oh, that, God. because I definitely whipped them. I put a lot of air in there. They're definitely foamy. I probably whipped them for an entire minute. Now, I'm going to put these vegetables on top of my cheese. Actually, I need a bigger spoon for this. And I wanna show you a little trick. Since there is liquid at the bottom of my vegetables, I kind of drain it while I'm putting the vegetables in. Let's get spinach in this other one before it all's gone. Get some spinach in there. I take this liquid that's at the bottom of the pan and I whip it into my eggs. Because I don't I don't I don't think it's good to saturate the bottom of your crust with this liquid. You know, before you bake it makes for a soggy crust and a lot of people make that mistake so i'll probably have a little bit of egg mixture left over but this is delicious so i'm gonna put it right in my eggs and i am going to take my cheddar cheese now and i'm gonna crumble it all on top so we'll get two dimensions of cheese in each quiche and guys i decided not to do mushrooms i texted my daughters and both of them said no i would have taken one quiche with mushrooms but just know you can put mushrooms in it you can put whatever vegetables you like oh, and now i'm going to so get a fun. cup and i am going to saturate and fill these pie crusts first i'm going to do just a quick whip And then I'm going to get a little teacup and I'm going to fill those pie pans. You just take it. I hope I'm in the screen. And you guys, this is such an easy recipe and it's so delicious. I cannot tell you how delicious this quiche is. I can only show you how to make it and hope you do. And it's such an awesome brunch thing because you can, you just, these freeze well uh, too, but you can just either buy the piece or just put um, some tin foil over the top and warm it back up tomorrow delicious now it's gonna start dripping everywhere don't worry about it it is what it is I take a knife and I just kind of go through and I push my cheese in and I think of every bite I'm gonna be taking yeah it's dripping everywhere I mean I would say try not to do that but it's gonna happen to you too Probably. All right, 
Now, the last thing I'm going to do before I put them in the oven is I'm going to dust the top with some paprika and off they'll go. I'm putting them, I pre-baked my oven to 350 and they're going to be in there probably for close to an hour. I'll show you what they look like when they're done. I'm actually in the process of vlogging right now. So if anybody's waiting for my vlog, hopefully, so this is a new SIM card, but hopefully it doesn't do what it did to me yesterday. Or I'll have no vlog, but I got quiches. See you in a sec. And here they are, guys. Absolutely beautiful, piping hot. You can see some of the little cheddars. You're going to love this quiche. 